Hey guys, this is Mike from RedGuard. Check www.redguard.com.au for our selection of radiator guards and a range of accessories. All our guards come with a transferable 3 year warranty and are delivered worldwide. In this video, I'd like to show you how to mount both our radiator and all cooler guard to a K7, K8, Suzuki, GSX R1000. The guards have plenty of clearance and come with padding on the back, so even in the unlikely event of the guard getting bent, your frame and radiator are safe. We also supply replacement bolts and any other necessary items. All guards are available as polished alloy version and in powder coated satin black. You will need a 10mm socket, a 4mm and a 5mm allen key, cutters and a flathead screwdriver. To get started we will have to take off the fairing on both sides and the B-piece in front of the oil cooler. These fasteners easily come undone if you use a flathead screwdriver. You then have to take off three screws on each side of the bike. When you take off the fairing, be careful not to damage the plugs that hold it. Once you've snapped the V-piece out, you have free access to the radiator and oil cooler. If these happen to be dirty, now would be an excellent time to clean them. Now take off the two bolts in between. You can discard those as we will be using the supplied longer bolts when mounting the guard. You will also have to unbolt the two Allen head bolts holding the regulator unit to move it out of the way. Gently push the side bit of fairing out. The guard will hook over the top of the radiator core so it helps to either have a second person helping you or to use any tool to lift the fairing resting on top of the core. The same goes for the other side. Now you're ready to slide the guard in and hook it over the top. Line up the red guard with the bottom mounting points and use the new bolts to secure it to the bike. You can remove your helping hands now, snap the fairing back together and replace the regulator unit. If you have ordered the all cooler guard, it is now time to install it. Because the plastic V piece you took off earlier will be used again, the strong frame you usually use on our guards isn't necessary for the all cooler guard. Because of that, we can just zip tie it into place. So slide in the zip ties from the back of the oil cooler and place the guard in front of it. Tighten and cut off the excess. You are now done installing the guards. To make replacing the fairing easier, we recommend giving the rubber mounts a short burst of WD-40 or similar. Just align the plugs to the rubber mounts and gently push them in. Then screw the three bolts on each side back in. Now hook the B-piece back in and replace the three fasteners. And you are done! If you have any questions, just contact us. Subscribe to our newsletter or like us on Facebook to keep up to date with our special offers. Happy riding!